Hey everyone, so this was the big weekend, the big marathon weekend, the Nara Marathon, the ancient capital city of Japan. It, it was supposed to be beautiful with our temples and shrines and deer everywhere and it lived right up to those expectations. Uh, we went down there on the Saturday, uh, we arrived at lunchtime, checked into the Nara Hotel and this was a beautiful five-star, 100-year-old hotel and um, it was it was absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> However, it was a good walk from um, the start of the marathon and the expo. That Saturday afternoon, we had to walk to the expo and uh, with a little boy in tow, that was uh, quite tiring. Uh, when we got to the expo, we had uh, the famous Nada pork soup, uh, which was very nice. And we walked around, there were a lot of food stalls, uh, quite a few sports, sporty type uh, stands as well, but mostly food. After the expo we went to do some sightseeing and we wanted to go to Todaiji, a really big, beautiful, famous shrine. Um, but there were so many deer that we kept having to stop to uh, feed rice crackers to the deer. So by the time we got to Todaiji it, it closed, we missed it by five minutes. Fortunately the next day my wife and son went back and they got to see it. We went to an Italian restaurant, which was very nice, and I uh, filled up on pasta and pizza. And then the morning of the marathon, I uh, woke up early, uh, went outside, and snow had fallen. It was that cold. I was, it was only a sprinkle of snow, but it was a, a sign of what was to come. And uh, we made our way back to the uh, expo, where the expo was for the start, but it was so crowded walking up walking up there, but it took a lot longer to get there. So when we did get there, and we had to check in our, uh, when I say we, I went with a couple of other guys from my Gifu runners group. Uh, we had to check in our, you know, baggage, and there was long queues for that, and it was freezing cold. Um, and, but we just made it, I just made it into my starting block two minutes before, uh, uh, before the race was supposed to start. We moved down to the start line and the gun went off and that was it. I was starting my first official marathon. Uh, it started off downhill so I was going at quite a pace 
and I kept doing really well. I was listening to music. I'd go crazy if I didn't have music to listen to. And I was also listening to prompts from my iSmooth Run app on my iPhone uh, telling me how fast I was going. And I built up a, a lead over my target pace. I was running about, well at, at best, about three and a half minutes ahead of schedule. So that afforded me a couple of uh, chances to go to a toilet. And that was kind of frustrating because you had to wait. There were so many people queued up to get in the port in the toilets. Uh, the crowd was good. Uh, lots of cheering. Uh, there were some great costumes. And um, it was funny because on the course you could pull off the course and sit in a tent and eat more soup and uh, special, you know, uh, special nada food. And uh, they even had massage tents at around the 30 kilometer mark. So you could just stop, go and get a massage and then rejoin the race. Uh, I didn't stop. Um, no, apart from those toilet breaks, I didn't stop at all. I managed to keep going the whole way. And it was getting really hard around the 35 kilometer mark. Oh my God, it was so hilly, really hilly. Almost as bad as the Ibigawa Marathon uh, that I did by myself the month before. So hilly, so, so hilly. I was uh, picked up a little bit um, rejuvenated somewhat when I saw my wife and son. And then I was overtaken by the four hour paces and that was like, oh no way, I can't believe it. Uh, so I had to chase them down and overtake them. And I finished in three hours and 57 minutes and 26 seconds. That was my net time. Uh, the gun time was 3.58. 26-ish, something like that. I call it 3.58. Really, really happy with that time. I was so cold after, freezing cold, I could hardly walk, really injured. My knee that has been giving me problems all along, uh, which I had wrapped up in the KT tape, um, a compression sock, running tights, a maximum support knee brace, and an IT band strap above that uh, for the whole race, but my knee was really sore and unexpectedly my right ankle was really really sore as well and, it sw and had swollen right up uh, and that's still painful now and it's, what is it, it's Thursday, four days after as I record this. And, but I didn't care, you know, I finished and I got my finisher's towel, let me show you that, got my finisher's towel this was the third Nada Marathon. Uh, I got my Nada Marathon t-shirt, which is very cool. I also got my finishers medal, Nada Marathon, see that? I got my Nada Marathon uh, certificate as well with my split times. I was really happy and then we had to drive back to Gifu and it started snowing really heavily. In fact, it actually snowed a little bit during the race and got really windy and freezing cold and I didn't have gloves. I had to run with uh, you know, my sleeves pulled over my hands. Um, and the drive back, I didn't have winter tyres on the car so 
My wife was driving me back, which was very kind of her. Um, but it got a bit dangerous, a bit treacherous towards the end, as the snow was really coming down. And then the following morning, uh, despite all my injuries, and because I didn't have winter tyres, I had to walk to the kindergarten where I work. And uh, that was a three and a half kilometre walk in welly boots there. Then I had to jump and sing and skip and dance with the children and then walk back. Um, and then I had to do that again on Tuesday morning. So it was a pretty rough uh, couple of days after the marathon. Uh, I'm only, only now I'm getting a chance to make a video and relax, uh, recover a bit. So uh, that was the Nada Marathon. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Anything else? Got any questions? Ask me some questions. I'll be happy to answer them. All right, take it easy. And oh, your support, your support um, really, really helped. Uh, especially that comment from uh, Brooke when she said, your superhero base, superstar base will see you through. And uh, I kept thinking of that comment and uh, yeah, that really did help a lot. I appreciate everyone's support. Thank you very much.